What's up guys, Desert B here and welcome to a brand new series on my channel. We're starting Red Dead Redemption. I'm really excited to play this game because I I haven't played it in a long, long time since before uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 came out. So, I mean, it's been at least like six years, maybe, maybe more. But uh, this is one of my favorite games. I think the setting is just really fun. And John Marston's a really cool character. And it's the middle of summer here where I live. It's blazing hot. And I just feel like, uh, I don't know, I need to be in a game where we can hang out in the desert and uh, the music is really good in this game, so I'm really looking forward to this. Check out those water graphics. The morning star. What's cool is you can find many of these characters, if not all of them, later on in the game. If I remember correctly, the year is like 1911 or something like that. Bill Williamson's gang. So I forget the two Pinkerton guys' names, actually. Uh, they might come to me later, but... And there's John Marston. Yeah, this is gonna be so much fun. I'm really excited about this. I've actually been listening to the soundtrack off and on all week long in anticipation of being able to play this. There's just something about that western, western, like, vibe, I guess, that it has. I just love it. So now we're, we went from being on a boat, I think? Or did we get off the boat? I'm not really sure, but now we're on a train. <laughs> For one, I'm grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Jeez. <laughs> But father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, that hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. oh, there was a character in the background right there that's pretty, pretty important to the beginning of the game here and actually even Jenny that one girl she's Not in a side only quest do later now have motor cars father but i heard that pretty soon we will be able to fly no only angels can fly jenny no no apparently people can fly didn't you hear out in kansas a man even got a car to fly <laughs> <laughs> i hardly think so jenny ah uh, look at that landscape that is so cool apparently Mr. Johns wants to run for governor, which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. But John's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can 
by voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. <laughs> well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. Armadillo. Armadillo. Classic. Look at those grimy windows. All the cactus in the background? Looks like home. Okay. So I am actually playing on the PlayStation 5. I bought this on the E... No, it's not called the E Store <laughs> on PlayStation, but um, it's just called the PlayStation Store, I guess, isn't it? So I'm just going to get used to the controls a little bit here. We got a little jump. And then I think run is X. Yeah. I've been playing um, Switch games exclusively for, I don't know, maybe six months or so. So this is kind of... This is going to be nice, kind of getting something different going on. And here comes a Gerd <laughs> right out of the bar. Okay. I feel like the... Um, let me just take a look at the s settings here. I feel... Autosave has been disabled. Why? Um, sensitivity is, like, really high. So let's do that. Controls... Audio display. Uh, we do want subtitles on. Yeah, those are on. Okay, that's probably good enough for now. Yeah, the camera is very sensitive and it moves so fast. You must be John Marston. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. So does this guy work with the Pinkertons, or is he just some guy that they hired? Follow Jake to the horses. Gosh, this town is just full of drunk people. Oh, look at the sky. You ain't going to find 30 of horses in these in all of New Orleans. Really? Ride horses triangle, okay. They can flow on the way out of town. No need to kick off a lot of dust. All right, all right, hold on. Wait for me. So we're headed straight to Fort Mercer. Hold R1 to slow. Wait, that's not R1. Wait, where did Jake go? Ah, oh, and the music's already starting in. This is my favorite song in the whole so game. Fort you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. When galloping, you can get a short burst of speed by Maybe tapping X. The horse's stamina is represented so on the bar. The okay. I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as most read it back to you. <laughs> Look at this sunset. I, mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but. Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. And the scenery? Oh my gosh, look at the rocks. And the cactus. This is so pretty. Are you planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. 
I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Steve's <laughs> Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> <laughs> what a disgusting old man. This game is full of those, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. So there's gonna be some, yeah, yeah well, some dialogue and cutscenes. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Yeah. Talkative, are you? No. Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, <laughs> mister. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. I just love John's response. Nope. Damn coyote. Old circle to focus. Me. Not far now, Mr. Marston. The fort is just over this hill. Oh man, animal hunting used to be like my favorite thing to do in this game. Oh no. There it is. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> <laughs> John is not amused. <laughs> he looks pissed, actually. Approach Fort Mercer. Okay, so yeah, if you guys aren't familiar with this game, which, I mean, it came out in 2010, I think, so I feel like most people are familiar, but just in case you're not, um, it's about this guy, this John Marston, uh, who's been hired, not really hired, but kind of mandated by the Pinkertons, which are kind of like the... The group that was a thing before the FBI. I mean, I could be totally wrong about that, but that's what I think they they were. Anyways, um, he John Marston used to know this gang that has kind of settled into Fort Mercer here, and he's been forced by the Pinkertons to come and confront them. And I think the idea is to try to bring them in to you know justice, I guess, and. Um, John doesn't really have much of a choice in this. And so here we are. We just got um, sent over here on a train to confront Bill Williamson and his gang. So here we go. Look at those vultures up on the top there. John is an ugly man, I must say. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. <laughs> that ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill. I implore you, think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you. <laughs> implores. I I implores you <laughs> to go back and tell them 
to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well. Ah, uh, he never had a chance. <laughs> Poor John. Poor John. Bill Williamson, though. It's kind of funny. I haven't played this game since before Red Dead Redemption 2, and honestly, it's very strange seeing these characters now. Oh, look at that big old full moon. Well, at least somebody came by to save us. It looks like we made it, might have crawled up the road a bit here, because I think we were much closer to the door than we... in the cutscene. Oh yeah, and there's like little trails of blood. Well, good thing somebody came along to save me. And then of course, she was on the train. Hmm. Trophy earned, that government boy. So yeah, I was thinking about that. It, I guess Bill Williamson must have been tipped off that we were coming. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. <laughs> what were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. Fifteen dollars! I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Uh, Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance for old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. <laughs> Thank you, miss. <laughs> you seen my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Bonnie McFarlane's one of my favorite characters. She's hilarious. We got ourselves a little cabin. So I guess I'm not wearing the vest that I was wearing a minute ago. And there should be a chest, right? Bonnie is on your map. But I don't know how to open this chest. Use L to walk around, R to look around. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look around. So they've got like a pretty nice little ranch going on here. Uh, all of these are like the farmhand houses, I think. We've got a pretty nice little place going for them here. Glad to see you. I'm open for treatment or treatment. Oh. Oh, is this possibly maybe the doctor? <laughs> he just said there's a lady with a boil in the most unfortunate place. <laughs> Gross. Wait, so that's my cabin. Um, I would kind of... Oh, there's my map. I don't know. Maybe I, I need to do the first quest before it'll really let me interact with anybody. Because I feel like that was the doctor's office, but I wasn't getting any kind of a dialogue or anything for him. Ride horse, so I could just take off of these horses. McFarland Ranch, Foreman's Office Payroll. I feel 
like this game is really dark. Oh, who are you? Sheriff. We got some people in jail. It is really dark in here. Okay, let's go, I guess, talk to Miss McFarlane. Here's their big old ranch house. I still got blood all over me. But I do have my gun. And then, yeah, this is how we switch between our stuff. All right. And then holster it. Okay, good. So here is Bonnie. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Oh boy. He just had bullets dug out of him two days ago. Now we're getting back in the saddle. Look, at he's still wincing in pain. Hold circle to focus on important... What are we focusing on? The house? Or Bonnie? I guess it's Bonnie. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws such as yourself. <laughs> I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. I picked out a fine horse for you. Come on, time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. Oh yeah. I just love how this is like kind of a grassland area. And listen to that music, like it just does not get better than this. Hold X to match their speed. General store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. She gave me a really nice horse. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? It's a I'm fine no corral. It certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now, where'd you get such an idea? <laughs> First impressions are hard to erase. She just really doesn't hold That's back. The train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. Bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Where'd she go? That's oh. such a bad thing. Try to keep up, will you? I'm coming. Oh, the size of that vulture over there was huge. Oh my gosh. Probably actually really good for their farm that the railroad came literally right next to their property. And is this the barn? Yep, barn. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Wow. Even got a little bridge. Here we are, back at the house. Let's stop for a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. Get ride your horse to the hitch, okay? Oh my gosh! <laughs> Come on, this is the only chance you're gonna get to rest. She's really putting me to work. <sighs> How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. And then we get to go on patrol. <laughs> Mr. Marston. Passed right out in that remember chair. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. So we get a little tutorial now for like riding and using a gun and we stuff. We got the it's repeater the carbine. Mount your horse. Okay, John is still wincing. Look at the, it's a half moon now. I'm so glad that they're giving us the best music right here at the beginning of the game. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. Hop on. Right. Follow me. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Oh, look at all the stars. A 
Company Bonnie. So, do I have the... Yep, it's equipped. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. All right, so who are we hunting now exactly? She said rustlers. Oh, look, they got a little garden. God damn it, these rabbits are at it again. Come on, <laughs> no. let's get rid of them once and for all. Wait, I gotta get off? How do I dismount again? Okay. Let's see that rifle. I want a couple of these for the pop. Look at all of, oh, they showed up on my map. Okay, hold. And then it auto aims for you. I mean, which is pretty convenient. <laughs> she is hilarious. Wait a minute. They're getting away. Oh. So it looks like they're growing corn here and cabbage. Maybe carrots in the ground right here. This rival does not feel very powerful. Oh, what's that? I don't know what that is. Looks like maybe a raccoon. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Come on, boy. I'm pretty sure that is not what she wants to do. Oh boy! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! There's one more up ahead. If I could get a good shot. Oh no, the chickens! Let's go. Okay, this is takes a bit of coordination. And there's another one. Ah, we're behind the building. Where'd they go? Oh no! Wait, where are they? Here's one. Oh, it's got a chicken! Oh no! There's another one got a chicken. Looks like that was the last of the coyotes. Just a shame we had to lose any of the chickens. Well, let's go. I'll my first night on patrol. Um, how do you reload? Nope. I don't know. You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. Here we are. Hitch my horse at the hitching post. If you get separated from your horse, it'll return to the hitching Thank post. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarlane. Yeah, these quests with Bonnie in the very beginning, they're always some of my favorite. You can sleep in your bed in your room to save your game. If you sleep, you'll wake up six hours later. Okay, how do we sleep? You can also pick up extra ammo from the trunk. Okay, yes. It is just so... Dark. Oh, look, general stores, doctors, and gunsmiths around the territory allow you to buy new weapons. Okay, and I got some honor. Yeah, if you guys have watched much of my gameplay at all, you probably already know. Some people deal in valuable information. Oh, nice. Uh, I'll probably be, I mean, I'll probably end up with, like, really high honor in this game. I usually just like to play like that, I guess. It just always kind of happens, and even without me meaning to, I usually just have... High honor in these games. Go to B on your map and speak with Bonnie. Should we take the horse? Look where you're going. Yeah, watch out, man. What are you doing standing here outside my house? Next to my horse. Let's go. Eventually. Oh, look. How did that happen? Now the moon's full. Eventually, I think that um, we'll get to catch our own horses. I wonder. I guess all the animals that we just killed are gone. So we don't really get the opportunity to skin any of them. Okay, dismount is triangle. Okay. Well, let's go see what Bonnie's got going on today.
obstacles in our path. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarlane. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only would I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. Oh. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. Oh gosh, we'll a see. race? I'm not even I'm not even accustomed to the controls. Oh boy. I don't even have a good horse. Alright, I'll show you how we ride right Whoa, She's excited about this. Mount your horse. Alright, alright. Go to the race start. Go. Oh gosh. I might get beat here. I very well might get beat. On the count of three. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. One, go! Let's go. I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this. Oh, whoa, whoa, gosh. Wait, oh, I'm already off to a bad start. Go, horse. Oh, my gosh. Oh, geez. Okay, I kind of... Kind of ruined the beginning of that. Oh, no, and look at my horse's stamina. While galloping, you can get a short by tapping. This will temporarily reduce your horse's stamina. All right, all right. I don't... Oh, I see her. We might we might catch up. Oh, gosh. Okay, the waypoints on the map is helpful, but I cannot stay on this road. <laughs> this is pathetic. Your horse will ride faster on trails. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, wait, we missed a turn. Oh, gosh, no. This isn't fair at all. I don't know this road. Or how to ride a horse. Oh, my word. Okay. Over the bridge. Come on. It's a straight shot. We got to get some... Speed! Ah, oh, she is way up there. How embarrassing. Ah, oh, yeah, she's gonna beat me for sure. I don't know how this used to happen, but when I used to play this game on my PlayStation 3, somehow I just always had the the war horse it like just came already equipped when when i would start the game and so beating her was much easier with uh with that horse as opposed to this guy oh my gosh leave me alone lady barely making it come on horse i need some stamina This is a long race. I did catch back up to her, but I just keep... I got stuck on the fencing and it's just not going well. Uh-oh, she's picking up the pace. Okay, we could pass her if my horse just had some stamina. Come on, horse. Ooh! No way. Uh, come on, horse. Come on. We've almost go. got it. We came back. Oh, did we do? <laughs> you're starting to regret your brave words, Miss 
I, we did it. <laughs> I could not believe it. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. She's not going to acknowledge that amazing comeback? Are you kidding? Fame. Marshall Johnson is available to talk to you in Armadillo. Travel to the M on your map. Or we can do another Bonnie McFarlane quest. And she's got a wagon out here in front. I think that I could just ride with her into town. Ah, oh, Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarlane. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> <laughs> take the reins, Mr. Marston. She really does crack me up. To get on a wagon approach. Yeah, we got it. Now she's going to trust me to drive a wagon. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. I haven't left well, this ranch. Well, perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not, miss. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know <laughs> there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. The horses, like, the controls are very sensitive. I can just barely touch the stick, and this thing will just, like, veer off onto the, off the road. I think it's kind of funny I found you dying on the side of the road, and now you're driving me into town. You have a strange sense of humor. Well, you must admit, it's an unusual start to a friendship. I didn't realize we were friends, Miss McFarland. Oh, please. Now who's being funny? Listen, I know that business with Williamson is your business, but I don't know. You've been good to us, and I don't think you're a bad man. A little Aww. stupid, perhaps, but not rotten. I just worry about you gallivanting around these parts like you're some kind of deranged bounty hunter. Like Paul always says, don't go waking snakes. I appreciate your concern for us lesser mortals, Miss McFarland. I really do. And if there was any other way out, I'd take it. I can assure you of that. She really does talk a lot, though, because there was a whole scene right there where we had some gorgeous scenery to look down on, looking out here onto the desert as we descend. This is like a... I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. <laughs> uncle! Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. He kind of fell in laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. And now we're back into Armadillo. Anyways, I was just saying that this looks like how, like if we, if I drive out of the desert area where I live, up into the mountains and then come back down, this is honestly exactly what it looks like. It's so cool. Whoa, 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 oh. Oh my gosh. I'm like, mowing people down in the street. Woo. <laughs> Look at them screaming and running out of town. Whoops. Watch out, people. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. 
Manhattan was a thing back then? Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Okay, so we're going to get some medicine, which is great. So this probably, well, no, I think maybe we did have access to all the shops and stuff um, just before this. But it's like a little tutorial, I guess, on how to get medicine. We get a free medicine. They've got chewing tobacco and an apple. But I don't have any money. I hope that helps. Talk to Bonnie outside the general store. Medicine and other consumable items are stored in your satchel. Oh yeah, I forget I have this button. Warhorse, look! Why do I have this? You now own a new horse. It'll come when you whistle and appear at your camp residence. I could have used that during the race. I had no idea. Hit, we got a basic campsite and then no provisions, awesome. How did I get the war horse? As you get injured, the screen will gradually turn well, red. Thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. She's just gonna leave me here, I guess. If you wanna leave Armadillo, there's usually stagecoaches loading and unloading behind the freight station. So that's like a fast travel spot, which we won't be using that. Oh, we can purchase properties. If only I had some money. So, how do you get to the map again? Can you... Hold on. No. Well, in Red Dead Redemption 2, you can... Whoops, what did I do? Clear waypoint. Yeah, clear the waypoint. What? Uh... Get out of there. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out the controls. Because I know in Red Dead Redemption 2, you can... Um open the map by just holding one of the buttons, but it's not working right now. So we've got Marshall. How do you zoom in and zoom out? Ah, right, there we go. But, um, I don't want this. There we go. I was just kind of curious. So here's the McFarland Ranch. And where is Fort Mercer? Choya Springs, Hennigan's Stead... Rio, Fort Mercer. Yeah, I just kind of wonder a little bit, like, what were they even doing down here in this area so far from home to even have been able to pick me up? I think that's uh, always been... Oops, darn it, I keep doing that. That's always kind of been uh, interesting to me. So how do I whistle? Poker's available. Here comes my horse. Let's get a look at this uh, war horse. I'm still so confused why. Wait a minute. This is, um... This is the war horse? But I thought the war horse had a full bar of stamina. Maybe I'm remembering wrong. I just thought the war horse was like the best one. Okay, um, I think we can squeeze in one more quest before we end this episode. So let's go over here and talk to the marshal. Political somethings. The low screen's so fast I can't even read what the name of the quest is. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> <laughs> that cough is disgusting. <laughs> Ugh. Shut up, you. <laughs> now what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. I did. Apparently so. <laughs> Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. Uh, 
You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them, one of them Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? Oh, my one gosh. One Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Jonah, put your gun down. Everybody here has a horrible cough. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. <laughs> but he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. Yeah, let's talk in front of the criminal, but not in front of the deputy. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten them. <laughs> oh, hardy fucking har. What are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister, and I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right, tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson. Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. Just leave this poor guy unsupervised in his cell. Let's head over to the saloon. Company Marshal Johnson to the saloon. Now, do you think we want a rifle for this? How are you? Or just a handgun? Easy, John. What are you looking for? Bunch of two bit hoodlums led by this fella called Walt. Goddamn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers and armadillos spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. I'll say. And these guys are part of a gang, I think, too. Walton's gang. Dumb rat bastard now. Let's follow him. See what kind of hole he crawls into. That is a serious hat he's got on. Press up Walton to whistle for your horse. Through. Let's get after him. Look at Walton. God damn it, he's on to us. Oh get no! Where's my horse? Is this one mine? Tail Walton to his hideout with the marshal. Do not kill Walton. Okay. Catch up, Marshal. Walton's as bad as you say he is. Why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Oh, it's got increased right, stamina. Marshall. And alive, he can still talk. Am I Doesn't supposed to be? Like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality, and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. Outlaw is easy money for easy work. 
Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge. These boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. <laughs> he said Chola Springs. I'm pretty sure it's Choya Springs. That's how we say it here. Just look at all of this vegetation. So there's been a lot of dialogue. I haven't really been able to say too, too much about anything because there's been so much dialogue. Eventually, that'll probably let up a bit once we get out and exploring around and stuff. But I was just going to say that I think that it's yeah. actually kind of cool that they put this game on the PlayStation 4 store and Looks I was like able to... The old Pleasant's house. Let's hold up a minute and find a spot for our horses. I was able to buy it from on the PlayStation 5 through the store. I was going to play this game regardless of whether they put it... They came out with this new um, port. I was actually going to start like it... Got company, boys. I was actually going to start it like two weeks ago, but I heard that they Take were cover. porting it over, and so I thought, well, might as well wait we're until it's this hill. playable on PlayStation 5 because my oh, PlayStation 4... Wait, 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 wait. How do I... Okay. Wait, how do I duck? I don't know what to do. Okay. Ah! Press. Okay, circle is a reload. Okay, run. And then R1 to slide in? Yep, okay. All right. The vault over low cover. Move towards it and then press R1. Okay. Take cover behind the rock. Nice. To blind fire. Fire the weapon without holding L2 to aim. I'm trying! I'm trying to blind fire. Learn the controls. Move left or right. Yeah, okay. Alright, alright. Here we go. John, you could go a little faster there. Ah! <laughs> okay. Nice. Take out the outlaws. So there's one more. Oh, wait. We can go to this side. No, 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 no. Go to this side, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Oh, ouch. Did we get him? I think we did. Walton has a bounty on him. Take him alive. Um, wait. I don't... Wait! Oh, my gosh! What do I do? I think I... I think I killed him. Well, I don't... How the heck was your... Were you supposed to take him alive? Bad shot, Mr. Marston. Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshal. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marston. Look at all Hello those there. cactus. Such a cool landscape. I thought that I you get a lasso at some point. Honorable people will react positively to you if you have high honor. Dishonorable people will react negatively. We can loot the body. I got some fame and I got some... Oh, minus 100 honor? Why? Is that because... I looted the body? Or is that because I killed him on accident? I don't know. I think it's probably because I killed him. I don't think you lose honor for looting bodies. I just want to get money and ammo. There's one more. Whoops. One more over here. If it ain't me, it's someone else. <laughs> oh, there's another one, actually. Bad deeds are noted by the populace, and if you turn road agent, you'll find many establishments close their doors to you. My goodness. The marshals left you a long way from civilization. You can travel back to town using the travel destination from your camp. No, 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 no. Uh, I think we... This is actually great. Is, it, is that my horse? After a battle, search the fallen bodies for cash, ammo, and consumables. Yeah, did we get any... We got medicine. No provisions. Okay, sweet. 
Yeah, this is awesome. I'm like really excited for oh, who's this guy? Wait, oh, that's not my horse. It's his horse. Oh. I almost stole that guy's horse. Um, look at that's a jackalope! Wait, uh, how do I I don't know how to do anything. It's a jackalope! This is legendary. Did I get it? Oh, <gasps> we got the jackalope! Dude, no way! Expert, what did it say in the bottom? Come on, let's get this over with. We got jackalope skinned plus one, buck antlers, and. What? We gotta help. Um, I need my horse. Horse! I'm trying, I'm trying! Wait for me, how about that? Oh, I can't believe we saw a jackalope. It's not like, I don't think you get any kind of, um... It's not like the legendary animals in Red Dead Redemption 2, but this just really rare, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I guess, like, if you don't know what a jackalope is, it's a bunny with, um, deer antlers. Oh, I never know what to do with these. Wait, um, wait, I'm gonna die. And where's his friend? I thought that there was supposed to be a guy hanging. The victim died! Whoops. Oh, I don't know why the music came back. Anyways, yeah, this is gonna be an awesome playthrough. I'm really excited. Any wild animal you kill in the wilderness can be skinned, okay. I'm really excited to play this and uh, run around in the desert on my horse. And the music is gonna be awesome. I'm really excited to play through this game. And it's something a little different. Uh, a little bit of a break from Nintendo for a while. And um, yeah, really excited that they put this on the PlayStation 5 because my PlayStation 3... It works, but like, man, that thing is loud. The fan in it just goes constantly. You stink. Armadillo meat. Plus one. Okay, awesome. I think I'll start heading back towards town so that we can continue um, doing some of these main quests. But that's it for this episode, guys. I hope that you enjoyed the first episode. I hope that you'll enjoy this series, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. I'm Brittany with Desert Bee Games. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help my channel grow, all you gotta do is hit the like and subscribe buttons below. If you'd like to see your name at the end of every video, please consider joining channel memberships right here on YouTube. Can't wait to see you there.